Hello beautiful people, this is Vlog from Synaptic Schism and today I want to show you the starting point of working with Iva, so getting a piano mockup from it, how it sounds and then what it sounds after I work it out, so after I orchestrate it and uh, make it sound the way that I like it. So the, the purpose of this video is to show you the before and after, okay? So this is the piano track exactly how it came out of Ava. Okay, cool. So this was the MIDI that I got from Ava, all the four tracks, so the melody, the harmony, the bass, and um, uh, an extras that I actually didn't use. And now I will show you the end result after I orchestrated it. Cool.
All right, that was it. So I want to show you the two tracks so that in the next video where I'm going to explain what I did, uh, you have the understanding of uh, the before and the after. Although obviously I'm going to play it during the video. I wanted to point out for the most part that although I really appreciate Iva as a starting point, I have never heard anything from Iva directly that resembles this kind of, of sound and uh, of orchestration. Now, maybe in the future that is going to happen, but at this point in time, I don't feel that we are able just with AI to get there. And I feel that even if nothing is changed in terms of the main idea, the work of a composer and an arranger adds a lot more depth and emotion to the actual track. And since that's how I feel that IVA and maybe in the future other softwares like IVA should be used, I will be doing a video that I'll release in a couple of days explaining what was the thought process and why I orchestrated the way that I did while comparing to what Iva had initially in the track. Cool. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you want to have a chat, you can find me easily on Twitter at Synaptic Schism and uh, you can chat in the comments. Usually I reply pretty fast and it's always a lot of fun to have uh, discussions about this topic. So until the next video, bye bye.